Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 8 of my Let's Platinum Dark Souls series. Uh, we have just beaten Ornstein and Smout in the end of the previous episode uh, and now we were going to do, I was had the idea of going to the painted world of Ariamis next but we're just going to do a bit of tidying up in this episode first by going to the Undead Asylum along with a few other places we're just going to get a few items, uh, do a bit of trading actually uh, and take up on one sort of side boss, if you will. So first thing, we're going to go to the Daughter of Chaos uh, using warp. We can now warp now that we have the uh, the Lord Vessel. Uh, we are now able to warp between bonfires. Uh, speak to this guy and purchase a Egg Vermifuge. This is optional, but we're going to be doing some trading later, and you can trade one of these for something a lot better. Um, you can only warp two specific bonfires, but you can warp from any bonfire um, you can see the list there so I'm gonna go to fire link now um, and this is uh, where we're gonna do most of our most pick most of our stuff up um, we're gonna to speak to Sigma he's here now um, he will be here after you've finished an Orlando um, he's going to actually give us the miracle emit uh, miracle emit force uh, if you just speak to him and then answer yes and then sort of exhaust the dialogue uh, he will uh, he will eventually give it you and then we can move on uh, also here the main reason I'm doing this sort of added bit in the middle here this added episode if you will uh, is to resurrect the firekeeper firekeeper in filing shrine Jesus <laughs> almost didn't get there um, yeah so she, her, her soul is a, a one-off we got it from Latrek when we invaded him in uh, Anor Londo um, yeah, so we need to return it. Once you return it, she'll come back to life. Uh, and then she will, the bonfire above will now be, you'll be able to use it again. Uh, you can warp from it and things like that again, So, which is great. Uh, but again, if you would have used that on any other, uh, by leveling up your Estus Flask, uh, like the Daughter of Chaos or um, the Firekeeper in Anor Londo, you wouldn't be able to use it again to resurrect this Firekeeper. So now that that is done, we can actually go over to the Undead Asylum and um, get some trading done, actually, with a, a character called Snuggly that you don't actually ever meet. <laughs> it's a very strange situation. Um, but before we do that, we are just going to go and get some stuff that we want to trade. I have most of it already. You should do as well. Um, there is this merchant here that's in the... Uh, in this tunnel, this aqueduct that leads to the undead berg, the, the, the female like uh, undead. Um, she will sell you everything that you need. There is going to be a full list of everything you can trade with uh, Snuggly, but I'm not going to trade everything myself, just a few few things. There are some things you definitely don't want to trade, like uh, Sunlight Medals, um, because we will, and Souvenir of Reprisal, uh, because we will need to farm those later on anyway. We do need a few of those ourselves. Um, yeah, so just trade the ones I trade for now to be safe. Uh, don't go trading anything that you, you don't even know what it is, uh, but really, because, um, yeah, you might not be able to get it back. So we're going to run down here and just speak to her. We're going to get, uh, well, make sure we have one of each type of moss. So blood red, uh, purple, and blooming purple moss. You want one of each of those. Uh, a, pris a prism stone, which is the thing I will have to buy. You probably don't have one of those. Uh, and a dung pie, which you will already have more than likely. You get those from the large enemies in uh, Blight Town. So yeah, grab a prism stone, um, and that's all you need. So one of each moss, at least. Um, you will want some more of those for poison later on. Um, prism stone and a uh, dung pie. I'm just getting some standard arrows here because uh, I just need to top up. Uh, you can buy poison arrows from that character. Poison arrows are quite good if you're struggling with a certain enemy. Um, you don't want to go near them or something like that. You really can't sort of beat them. Then poisoning them and waiting out is a is a good option. Uh, I won't be doing any of that. I don't think uh, there's nothing I I particularly need to do it on. Um, it would make the video a lot longer as well if I was just waiting for. For enemies to die with a poison uh, but yeah you shoot three arrows i think it's three roughly three uh, it, they'll get poisoned and then eventually die you may need to poison them a few times to get it to work there is big hat logan that we rescued earlier uh, we will also in the next video be doing some leveling up grinding the best grinding spot for souls is coming up best farming spot should i say um 
So we're going to be doing that. You need level 15 intelligence to buy uh, Logan's sorceries. So we will be getting to level 15 intelligence and level 25 faith minimum. Uh, because we do need it for uh, certain things. Uh, so yeah, so once we get that out of the way, we can just level up normally after that. So we're just doing... You so saw I jumped off the lift there, uh, and we're going to go this way. There's the crow that takes us back to Undead Asylum. Uh, we're just going to jump on here and get this Undead Asylum F2 West Key. Um, we're going to need that for a certain item to unlock a certain gate. Don't drop down here like that because you get stuck. <laughs> I didn't realize that is quite annoying. You can go all the way around the outside of this building luckily uh, and just go that way um, Yeah, so I'm just gonna drop down if you didn't do that that first roll You saw me jump onto that sort of narrow bit if you do a roll there It's definitely easy. You're gonna see me do it again shortly after we will be going back up there to uh, use the nest to uh, get to um, the undead asylum again uh, there was a cracked red eye orb. That is for uh, invading other people's worlds. We're not going to be doing that. So uh, we're actually going to be trading one of those. Homeward Bone, you know what those do by now. Uh, Talisman, which I got previously, that's for um, using miracles. We'll be using that later. And then we have the Lloyd's Talisman, which is uh, it's pretty good. It stops enemies um, using Estus. It does involve you, as it does if it hits you as well. Uh, you can't use them either. It is for a short period. Uh, it also makes mimics the chests with the teeth. Uh, it makes those guys fall asleep again if you uh, if you wake one up, uh, and they will drop the item that they're holding. So if you don't want to fight them, you can always use a Lloyd's Talisman. Uh, this is a an area we could have come to right at the start of the game, but these skeletons, especially early game, are pretty damn tough. Obviously, they're not very hard now, but they do still hit quite hard and most of them do have a, a bleed as well so it is definitely something to look out for with those guys I'm just grabbing a few things while we can down here, um, it's not essential we will be coming back down here, you see bleed there it, uh, it built up pretty quickly, uh, they hit me quite hard all um, and this I'm quite high level at this point um, yeah so we will be coming back here, there's a late, the entrance to a, a late game area down there don't worry about it for now, just come back this way there is a there's going to be a snake or a serpent that you're going to see in a moment i forget this one's name it's Frant. i think there's two different ones they look exactly the same don't speak to this guy uh, it can mess up a certain path we're trying to go down so um with regards to the story so don't speak to him just leave him um he's the one you can sort of trade stuff with or he'll buy stuff off you um We'll do it maybe in the second playthrough, but for now, just leave him. Don't talk to him at all. Uh, we don't want to mess this uh, th that thing up. Right, so we're going back up on um, in this lift here. When we get to a certain point, push forward and roll. And then here, push right to the edge of this bit sticking out, and then just roll. It's e much, much easier if you don't, don't try and jump it. Just roll. Uh, you'll make that quite easily. And then we're going to go up and... Uh, take the form of an egg for a while uh, I'm going to skip forward here so you're not going to see it but I've uh, I've just sort of cut out there it takes about 20 seconds for it to happen don't worry if it's not instant um, just wait it out and then eventually this cutscene will kick in and uh, you'll be taken back to the undead asylum um, and then straight away when we're there you can see at the top there we're going to be trading so you can see how good the trades actually are you get put one blooming purple moss clump in and you get two Twinkling Titanites back, which are used for uh, leveling up or upgrading certain um, armor pieces, which is a, it's quite a rare uh, resource, really, so it is quite good. We're going to be getting quite a few different things, and I'll show you each one as we go. Just a quick sort of snippet of each one. Um, I'm not going to show you the whole process for every single one, because uh, you do have to load, uh, basically quit out, and then jump back in to uh, get the, uh, the trade to happen quickly. So get rid of these guys, turn left and you'll see this nest. Be careful this is on, a, on an edge, just don't press circle anymore because you will jump backwards. Uh, so yeah, give me give me warm. Uh, so what we're going to do first is drop, make sure you press drop, don't use, uh, drop a uh, blooming purple moss clump here. Uh, so once you drop it, you'll kind of see it maybe. Uh, quit out the game, 
and then load your game back up straight away and the item will have changed and it is now a twinkling titanite again there's going to be a full list of everything you can trade in the description uh, but I'm going to trade the stuff you want to trade now uh, I mean cracked eye orb for two purging stone is not really essential right now but it's it's good uh, you're probably not going to use the cracked eye orbs anyway so getting a purging stone is always nice especially if you get cursed uh, we, which is a chance we might come across that later on the rest of them are going to be uh, two mosses quickly here they each give a twinkling titanite um, I'll just highlight as well that you can't you can only do this once for each item so you can't give uh, a blood red uh, moss and then do another one straight after you won't get anything um, once for each item per playthrough so just um, just go through this list that I'm doing and do each one don't do more than one at a time as well just drop one item quit out jump back in pick that item up do another one uh, and just do it that way if you keep dropping more than a uh, more than one at a time it, you'll just lose the items and it's not worth it so here's the egg vermifuge that we purchased earlier drop it for a dragon scale dragon scales are used for um, leveling up um, dragon weapons like the drake sword but don't bother with that anymore because the drake sword is uh, not very good anymore um, dung pie this is the two we're actually going for uh, this is the reason I'm doing this now is uh, to get the, the dung pie and the uh, prism stone both give a demon titanite um, we're going to go and pick up another two demon titanites from Sen's fortress uh, we sh you should already have one I've got one at this point uh, so with that we will have more than enough to fully upgrade um, the sword that we're using, Quelag's Fury Sword. Obviously if you're not using Quelag's Fury Sword I don't know why you wouldn't be. You, I mean if you're a different build obviously you could be. Uh, you might have a, a different weapon. But a plus 5 Quelag's Fury Sword and a 10 Humanity if you can get there is, a, is pretty damn good at this point in the game. It's going to cut through most things. Uh, you may remember this uh, rubbish that we picked up in Undead Berg very early on. Uh, I kind of said it doesn't do anything. It's just rubbish. Well, this is what you actually use it for. You drop it here and you get a, a Titanite chunk back, which is uh, it's pretty good for a piece of rubbish. One man's trash and all that. Um, the sack, this one is obviously not needed. Uh, you don't need to bother doing this one if you don't want to. This is the last one I'm going to do now. Sack is a uh, you get the demon's great hammer. This isn't one of the uh, the weapons we need for a trophy, but we don't need the sack. Uh, we got that from uh, the butchers in the depths. So um, yeah, I'm just doing it anyway because we don't need the sack. So if you want the hammer, there it is. It's what the uh, the asylum demon and this next one, the uh, stray demon, it's what they use it's pretty damn heavy you need high strength so do not walk straight across there the floor is about to collapse uh, come around this way and get these two undead first these two hollows the reason we're doing this is uh, so they don't drop on us basically when we're fighting the stray demon um, yeah he's below us this is the exact same place where we fought the asylum demon the very first boss of the game uh, yeah, he's below us. You may have heard him actually. If you're on PS3, I think you can hear him. Right, so go back to the the first entrance and then drop through the floor there because you can see where he stood. If you drop at the back, he might swing and get you. Um, not a difficult boss, even though I do make it look quite difficult in the beginning here. Uh, he has massive tells. Uh, I checked Pyromancy there; it's not doing so well. So um, I'm actually going to switch to the sword and just use that. I did use pyromancies in my practice, so that's why I was checking it. But I think I have a higher a level one uh, in that, so um, I think it's at level 15. We haven't done that in this one yet. Uh, or you may have, uh, I haven't yet. We will be doing that as well shortly. So, yeah, it's exactly the same as the first guy, except he has these kind of AoEs. So just stay behind him, uh, hit him a few times, uh, wait to see what he's going to do next. Just step back a bit and then just move forward, hit him. And then repeat. Let's see, he just keeps doing that. Uh, if you're lucky, he will do that for pretty much the whole fight. Sometimes he'll also do this as well. It's just a generic slam. 
uh, which allows you to just sort of walk behind him, get a few hits in if you want. Uh, there's another one of his, his sort of quicker ones. He doesn't raise his, uh, his his hammer or his staff when he does that one. But yeah, he's, he's quite easy. I'm taking it pretty easy. This is not a clean fight by me at all. Uh, and it's, uh, it's not difficult. So yeah, if he does the slam, just back off, get right back behind him. And then... Uh, yeah, just watch out for the AOEs really, that's pretty much all you need to watch out for. He always does them in front of him, so if you, as long as you're staying behind him, you're fine. And just keep chipping away at his, uh, his ankles and watch out for the slam. So he's going to be nearly done in a second. He's going for another one of these, this is going to allow him to get some good damage in. I have switched to two-handed, obviously you get the 50% extra damage with two hands, you don't need to block this guy. So it's best just to switch to two hands. And there he is, that's it, done, easy. Um, humanity, Homer Bone, and a Titanite Slab. That Titanite Slabs are very rare. There's only a few of them per playthrough. Um, they're needed to fully upgrade certain weapons. Uh, it's like the last material you need to upgrade certain ones. So we will be getting a few, but that is one of the main reasons we've come here, is to grab that. We can come here at any point, uh, but I thought I'd do it now. Um, I suppose you can come here quite early on, because the enemies aren't difficult. Uh, I'm just going the wrong way here. I just realised I need to go back here and get the Peculiar peculiar Doll. The Peculiar Doll is the main reason we're actually here. It's the key to get into the painted world of Ariamis. Uh, it's hidden behind a Black Knight, unfortunately. But they shouldn't be too much of a problem now. Uh, I think they're actually probably easier than the uh, Silver Knights. Uh, I seem to I, th I seem to find that they are later on anyway. Silver Knights seem quicker. These guys seem to hit harder though. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was not good. whoa, that was not good. <laughs> Having said that, uh, we go and do that. Yeah, get rid of him. We're gonna get a. You will get a chunk from him, the red chunk, but you may not get the shield. That is one of the weapons we do need for the trophy. Um, again, that is gonna be in the description as well. A link to my website for a full list of all the weapons you need. Uh, make sure you grab that doll because that is the key to the next place we're going. Uh, you can't go through the painting without it. And now we're just gonna walk, kind of walk around, uh, get to this uh, the bonfire at the beginning. Um, of the game, basically the first bonfire you ever light, which is uh, up here. I'm sure you recognise all this. And now we're going to go and uh, sadly, I think this is quite a sad moment. Really, this is the guy that uh, gave us the Estus flask at the beginning. He said he was going hollow. He has done, and now he'll fight you as soon as he sees you. This is uh, what's his name? Oscar, I think his name is. Um, yeah, he's not difficult at all, but yeah, you're going to get the Crest Shield, which is, it's okay, I suppose, it's really good defense against magic. Um, I'm going to stick with the Grass Crest for n for now, because I like the extra uh, stamina boost. Not the best shield with regards to actually deflecting damage, but um, I do like that, that boost. Um, here's another Black Knight, this guy is... A is worth killing just for the the red uh, titanite that he's going to drop. There's nothing that he's actually hiding or protecting this one, so that's the only reason we're coming for this one. Not the easiest in this tight corridor. If you prefer to get them out in the open, just run back to where you fought uh, Oscar. He's going to follow you. They don't give up. So at this point, you can actually walk back to where Oscar is. Uh, I'm just going to go this way and just make sure there's nothing I've missed. Uh, because my practice, I did my practice a few days before. Usually I do my practice and then I'll do my recording run straight away. Uh, but I've had to leave it a few days in between for reasons. Uh, and now we're back on it. So yeah, we're going to go back up to where uh, Oscar was. Uh, and just get one last thing. Which is a ring that, it is very a very good ring. By the way, this boulder will be back. So uh, beware of that. Uh, the ring we get in, you may have noticed it at the very beginning of the game, it's in a place that you can't reach until you get the key uh, that we got on the roof in Firelink. Um, it allows you to walk at normal speed in swamps, basically. 
uh, like uh, obviously in um, Blight Town and things like that. It's good, but I'm using Havel's Ring and the Ring of uh, Favor and Protection, um, and I can't take that off for definite because it will break. Uh, and never take that off, by the way, if you're wearing it. Um, and Havel's Ring, well, obviously I need that because I'm, I'm overweight or would be if I didn't have it on. This guy gives me some trouble. His shield would not, he would not break his shield. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so the ring, uh, I can't use it basically because I would be overweight anyway, so I'd be moving slow and fat rolling, which is kind of worse. So this ring here, the rusted ring, um, yeah, if you put it on, you just can freely move through swamps. We're actually going to go to a swamp in a moment in uh, Sen's Fortress. I said we would be going back there. Uh, we are. We're going to drop down into the place below uh, sort of Sen's Fortress where the, the swinging pendulum axes are. We're actually going to drop down there and just get a few, uh, more, few of the more difficult enemies out of the way. So if you warp here to Undead Parish... That's going to take you to uh, to Andre the Smith and the uh, bonfire that's above him, and uh, yeah, we can go straight on to um, Sen's Fortress from here. Just get a few extra bits. I'm going to put a couple in intelligence because I need to get to 15. We are going to grind or farm souls in the next place in the Painted World. Uh, there is a great place to do it. Um, the thing with the the farming spot in the Painted World is that you need to. Uh, do it and then go all the way through the Painted World. Once you're in the Painted World, the warp on uh, bonfires doesn't work anymore. I know we've only just got it and then we, we're stuck again, but that's just the way that place works. You have to complete it uh, and drop off the end of the world at the, uh, at the end of the, the, the section, basically, uh, to get back to normal. Uh, warping the bonfires will not work for you. So, farming is kind of a... You want to do as much as possible and then leave because you will have to go through uh, the whole sort of section to leave, um, so it's not a place you can jump back and forth from very easily. Uh, right, I'm going to just uh, take care of these two. So there's the guy at the front here, the snake demon, uh, snakes soldiers, uh, and then there's the one at the lightning guy at the top. He's the one I'm going for basically. I don't want him shooting lightning down on uh, dealing with a, another three lightning guys at the same time. So I'm just going to go and uh, go and see him. You can shoot him with an arrow from below, but I'm just going up to see him because it's quicker. That's all. Uh, yeah. So below us are two um, demon uh, titanite demons. Uh, whenever you kill a titanite demon, you get some demon titanite. That's a lot of the same word, <laughs> same words over and over in different order. Um, yeah. So under here is the slow-moving swamp stuff as well. Uh, the first two we're going to fight uh, are fairly low level weaker ones so yeah drop down here and do a, an R1 drop to get this first one because there's one behind me and there's one in front uh, yeah and they do hurt that lightning is going to hurt you can see there it's quiet but with the, the sword you can kill these guys in two hits now uh, if you're not killing them in two hits it's because your humanity is low by the way and there we go so I'm going to show you that both affects the ring basically. There is a demon in front of me and there's one behind me. Uh, the one behind won't come for you until you go for him. But yeah, it's one of these guys. These are lower and then there's two more higher level ones. Not very easy to fight. We're going to leave them. If we need more demon titanite later we might come back. But they are pretty tough. So I'm going to switch rings now from Havel's uh, to the rusted ring. And basically show you, you can walk normally, but I am fat rolling, so I don't want to do that. But you can just walk uh, normally around this place. It's very good if you can uh, uh, support the extra weight, but I can't, so I need to be wearing this at the moment. The idea is to uh, to do endurance up, uh, level it up eventually, so that isn't a problem. I could take the helmet off, I suppose, but um, I'm fine with it. I don't mind the slow walking in this area too much anyway. So yeah, the, these guys are they're a pain really. They just sort of hit you from all over. They, if you can get that sort of a triple hit there, you can stand right inside the chest uh, and they won't hit you. 
this one's not too bad either but some of them are really quite bad they sort of hit you with the tail and with the swing back um, quite annoying these lower ones there's one piece these lower ones aren't too bad he's quite weak that one as is this one down here but I'm going to show you the other two as well um, they're a lot tougher especially moving and they both come at you at the same time pretty much uh, and moving around in this stuff with two higher level demon uh, Titanite demons is a uh, it's pretty tough you can split them up still but um, it's obviously if you want to go for it go for it but uh, I'm leaving them for now this gets pretty close as well yeah we need to heal quickly when he backs off yeah I think that's the combo you can do it yeah he has that weird combo you can run into his chest and he can't hit you that one he does hit you for sure there it is again and he's done so there's a scythe here as well got the demon titanite and there's also a soul of brave warrior uh, so that's those two done um, next we're going to get a titanite chunk as you can see in the top I'm just rolling trying to roll through here you can run but I don't know I just prefer rolling it let me show you where they are there's two down here you can see them there they're tough leaving them for now uh, they're actually below where uh, we bought uh, where, where, where we bought where we saved um, Big Hat Logan you can't do a drop kill it's too high you'll just die so don't bother with it this is the only way out of this place by the way um, but there is a secret wall we'll be using this is a uh, quite a hell of a ladder I do accidentally slide back down this in a minute as well but I'm gonna cut going up it again out so this is where you drop you'd uh, just drop down there and you'd be back at the beginning of the pendulums if you hit this you get to a secret area and here is the giant that initially opened the gate to Sen's fortress when we rang the two bells and uh, we got that cutscene with the giant um, yeah so we're gonna kill him <laughs> not very nice I know but he's gonna drop a titanite chunk uh, and we want that and it's a good bunch of souls as well so if you're lucky you'll get the uh, the combo just keep circling him until he does this and when he does this back the hell away and he's going to tire himself out and you can just kill him no problem so that again that sword has that weird uh, you see me do that backflip then if you're in a combo um, with this sword and you, uh, you run out of stamina, you'll do a backflip, which is pretty cool. It gets you out, out of the way of danger. So you see there, that's the, the, the entrance to Sen's fortress. That's where we were. Uh, yeah, so if you're wondering why how or how I managed to do the backflip, that's how it's basically... Uh, you run out of stamina, it does a backflip, gets you out of danger. Pretty cool. So I'm going to accidentally just get carried away because I love sliding down ladders in this game <laughs> and then have to climb back up. But that's, uh, I've cut that out so you didn't have to uh, watch me go through that. And uh, yeah, so we are going to go back to Anor Londo now and uh, move towards going into the Painted World. Uh, but first, we're going to fully upgrade the uh, the sword. Uh, we need to go to the giant for that, unfortunately. But hey ho, we're just going to go see him. So if you go down here to this this uh, fire, and you'll end up here. This is the bottom of the uh, the stairs. So you may need to hit this switch to uh, to bring it back down to your level. Unfortunately, I completely forgot to mention the shortcut. Um, hopefully, you opened it up. Uh, the gate, where the the entrance of uh, like the the cathedral, whatever it is. So I'm going to have to do a, a bit of a walking around to get in, back in, to see the giant. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. So basically run up there. This is where we're going to go eventually, is through that door on the left now. Uh, but because we want the main um, stairs, we've got to do this again. And then you have the two large guards, uh, which are a lot easier now, now that we have uh, this sword. Uh, especially if you have a high level pyromancy flame as well they go down very quickly with a uh, great combustion 
but yes, I'm going to mo notice in a moment. I suppose this is a problem with doing practice and normal, as you might, uh, or I seem to forget, or might forget something quite important like that. Uh, I'm obviously not going to forget important things that we need to move on. They're all in a list, but um, yeah, I accidentally forgot to, uh, to open that gate, so I do apologise, but it's behind me. Uh, hopefully you did open these guys be uh, on their own very easy um, if there's two of them they're just going to keep breaking your uh, stamina down so it's probably best just to uh, try and split them up I could just run at this point uh, but hell it's 3,000 souls I might as well do it do it while I'm here the second one does jump up on me Pretty quickly when I'm not expecting it in a moment. That's what you want. The shield. The shield slam. Nope, didn't drop anything. Yeah, I was going to go on. <laughs> but he came. He was wanting revenge, obviously. Shield slam. Perfect. Right. I'm not going to fight these two bigger ones. Uh, I could have got a lot more souls from them, but let's just uh, let's get this weapon done and get moving. So back up these stairs and then round the top. Uh, the other side obviously has that archer, so that's why I've not gone that way because I didn't want to have to deal with him necessarily. Uh, again, if you need um, the silver knight weapons, you can also farm for them now I will be doing all of that at the end of this playthrough uh, we're gonna farm everything uh, all the weapons make sure we've got everything before we leave this uh, playthrough and fight the final boss um, so yeah do them whenever you want but uh, I will highlight when you when I'm doing them uh, yeah we'll need to farm all three of the weapons for the silver knight so here he is let's uh, Let's upgrade this thing. Done. Plus five. Excellent. So I think you can actually upgrade the um, the sword at the other guy, but I just wanted to have this uh, uh, double check on anything else this guy had as well. Uh, and I wanted to open up that that shortcut. So now that that's all uh, all levelled up, all done, we have one of the best well, a weapon I'll be using for a very long time anyway. All levelled up, then uh, yeah, we're good to go. Uh, we're just gonna get rid of these demons, just these ones here. God, I still hate these guys. <laughs> yeah, just the, oh no. The way they back off, it's that the way they back off and then uh, attack and then back off. There we go. Here is the gate I was talking about. So all we need to do is open it from this side. I should have done it last time in the previous video, but unfortunately I didn't. Would have made that bit a lot quicker had I just ran up and uh, had that uh, gate ready to walk through. But yes, I do apologise, but we're all ready. We're all done. Let's go. Uh, onto the painted world. I'm actually going to go through the painting at this point and just hit the first uh, bonfire at the end of this video and then at the start of the next video is when we'll actually start uh, or get all the way through uh, the painted world. It is a side area but there are many things we actually need there. There's a... Uh, the end of the area has a boss that I don't like killing. I'm sure most people don't like killing but we kind of need a tail for a... <laughs> it's one of the weapons so uh, unfortunately that's what we have to do uh, in here is where the chandelier do you remember we were walking in the rafters uh, at the very start of Anor Londo and there was a lot of these guys uh, we're basically um, below there so you're going to see the chandelier smashed on the floor in a moment uh, there is uh, the sorcery great magic weapon was in the chandelier you see it there now uh, so yes we need to pick that up uh, do not run into this room and get all these guys to follow you at once they they hit surprisingly hard and they uh, they're just as annoying as those demons to get they do a lot of rolling 
Uh, they've got knives, so the ones other ones will sit back and just get you with the knives. Uh, so yeah, just um, try and pick them off one or two at a time. Uh, they will drop throwing knives, a lot of them anyway. Uh, not particularly helpful, but okay. I'm actually going to try and use a uh, pyromancy because it's quicker. Uh, great combustion will kill them in one hit. Just using the regular one for now. So they do hide, as you see this one here, he's hidden behind. Uh, so do check all of the pillars. Uh, yeah, you don't want them uh, sneaking up on you. There's another one hiding, and there's three more there. There are a lot of them in this room. So it's, yeah, it's a case, with these guys, it's a case of just waiting for that, that window. With most enemies, it does become a bit of a waiting game. Come on, there we go. Yeah, so switch to great now, just get him done. Unfortunately, I uh, did that second one. You get sort of locked in the animation. That's the whole thing with this game, isn't it? Uh, button presses have to be perfect, otherwise you'll get locked into animations and die. Uh, yeah, it will happen a lot, especially when you uh, start start the game. You can't jump out of a, a sword swing or anything like that. So there we go, there's a sorcery. Uh, next we can get the bl black iron helm, armor gauntlets, leggings, great shield, and great sword. Of course, it's being protected by one of these guys, but we have uh, our sword and he's backed in a corner, so there's not much you can do. And there we go. Great shields, not something you're going to be able to wield at this point, uh, but maybe if you wanted to, go, wanted to go for strength, then you could eventually. And there we go, this is the painting, so you examine it, and uh, you're going to get pulled into it. Quite a, quite a cool place. Um, Poison is here, in a way, uh, which is a shame, but the rest of it is, is pretty cool. The boss is really good as well. Um, it's just a shame that you actually do have to fight her. Um, yeah, I do like the boss, actually. It's a very good one. We'll, uh, I won't spoil anything yet, but once we get there, you'll know what I mean. So you jump straight in, you'll start here at this, uh, this bridge. We're just going to run up to the bridge, hit the burst first bonfire, I'm going to put a few more levels in if I can, and uh, yeah, that will be it for this video, and then at the start of the next video, we'll just continue on, get this area done in its entirety. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.